Hello, scrappy peeps. Susanna here today for Simple Stories, and I'm here to share with you this summer layout created using this Summer Lovin' Collection. So as you can see, I have five photos here, uh, one four by six, three three by fours, and one, I'm going to go with three by three. I'm pretty sure that's a uh, three by three square. Um, and I am want to put all five of these photos on one page. Um, so I'm going to do what I like to do, especially with this number of photos, and I'm going to create a header. And I'm going to balance that out with a small footer um, down at the bottom. So I have that very busy paper with the florals that is going to be at the top. Um, and to ground that and tie that into the remainder of the layout, I'm going to create um, just a couple of layers down the bottom there. I am going to use that yellow from this striped piece as well as um, a little stripe of the green. And then I also have a strip of this green and blue that I thought I was going to use down the bottom, um, but you'll see I change my mind with regards to that. So just some very simple layering, um, it, just to get color into the photo, uh, or not into the photo, into the layout. Um, and by layering the strips like I've done here, you can layer texture um, as well, which just top, it makes the busy floral a little less busy and it grounds it. Um, in my mind, that's what it does anyway. So no idea how I'm going to incorporate all of these photos, um, but if I can, I would like to. Uh, this was this was actually in 2020, so not long after we had locked down um, with the stay at home uh, mandate, I guess. Um, we had ventured out to Charlottesville, which is an hour west of us, um, to pick up some bread, more just to get out of the house. Um, and it just so happened that it was the first day of peach picking. So uh, we ventured up the mountain and decided that we would go peach picking um, and came home with a lovely bag of summer peaches. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with these photos. As you can see, I'm kind of shuffling them around, looking for some balance on the page. So in my design principles, because I like to consider those when I'm designing, I want balance on the page. Um, and so you can see how it is very top heavy right now, especially um, with that busy floral behind it. So it definitely needs something on the bottom, especially on the bottom right, so that you're creating a di diagonal line that your eye is traveling across the page here. So I like to incorporate these um, three by four pockets or journal spots as well as the journal bits. Um, I like to, if I can, I like to journal on something as opposed to journaling straight onto the page. Um, and so it also is a nice way of pulling more color into the page. So I've got that spot there. And then um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for embellishments. So you can see that I have the beginning of the bottom cluster uh, that's going to pull the design together in that diagonal there. Um, so a, a mix of colors from the colors that I have in the top of the layout that will pull it together in the bottom right hand side of the layout there. So in essence, um, the color palette that I'm going with here is navy, yellow, pink, and then you could say that teal um, is one of the colors that I go with as well. I also really liked this peachy color because the color, the pink, salmon peach in the peaches, that bag of peaches there, it just ties it in nicely and makes using that right there, the peach underneath that photo actually really pulls in the pink of the peaches and makes that photo stand out just a little bit more. So I finally decided on a um, symmetry that I like of the photos. Um, and so I'm going to just go ahead and hear the ones that I commit to. So I'm going to have the bottom of the top three photos all line up. Um, and then I, because I definitely want all of these photos, I decide, and because I like that peach that's down um, poking out with easy peasy summer breezy, 
A, I really liked that phrase, um, and B, I really liked the way that the peach complemented the peach in the peach bag photo that's above and to the right of that photo of myself. Um, and so I am going to I've decided at this point that that will become a hidden journaling card. Um, again, not because I have journaling that I need to hide so much as because um, I just, I don't want to ruin the design that I've created here. I've got a lot going on and I think to have writing on the page would just make it even busier. My designs typically do not allow for journaling on the page, especially not to tell the full story. So I have the foundation of the page here. Now I need to incorporate the title um, and then get some embellishments on there. One of the great things about Simple Stories Collections is if you get the sticker book, you always get an additional alpha that works really well with the collection. Um, so what I've done here is I've divided the title. I have half of summer from the foam stickers, and then the other half is going to be that yellow alpha that is in the sticker book that will then make it say summer peaches. Um, and and yes, it's kind of weird that the exclamation point is it at the end of summer and not peaches, but um, whatever. It's a, it's a scrapbook page. It's my page. It's my memory. And so I'm going with it. Um, so I'm going to, and I like the way that the using that yellow alpha creates um, a little bit more attention grabbing to the title. I do like my titles to pop. Um, I also do like a little bit of dimension in my titles as well. Well, all of my pages, I like to have um, a variety of depth. I like the way that the depth creates shadow, um, which creates a visual interest and movement on the page there. So trying to get the letters um, somewhat aligned, somewhat uh, will do, <laughs> somewhat is, is often good enough. Um, apparently I ripped that E there, so I have to go and grab another one of those. Um, I probably could have pieced it together, but uh, I had an extra, so why not go ahead and use that? So I still have that photo um, that's going to have the hidden journaling underneath it that needs to go down. Um, and I will get to that. Uh, if you're using foam and you cut just like the top two thirds, you can kind of make that foam bend like I'm doing here to go around that banner. Um, saving you from cutting and having to peel too many pieces of foam off. It's easier to just pull that one strip. I'm still not sure where that banner is going to go. I know I'm going to use it on the page. I just have to make it all tie in together. Um, so I have pretty much finished off the title there. I like the way that the blue works with the blue in that top pattern paper, the floral, as well as the blue in my husband's shirt. I should say the blue in his eyes as well. Um, and so I'm looking for a little bit more yellow here to go behind um, the, the pink and the teal in the bottom footer that I'm going to use over there. Um, many of you will probably notice if you follow my work that um, I'm back with the Fiskars trimmer and I had started using the CM trimmer. So uh, this <laughs> layout I actually completed many, many, many moons ago, um, early when I got my design team box. And this uh, particular layout is where I decided it was time for a new trimmer and I was done because I was tired of hand cutting things in order to get these tags um, cut out without having to go in with my scissors. So yes, I have the yay there, but I'm really using it knowing that I'm going to layer up tags and what have you. Um, and so I'm going to cover up the yay and the embellishments work perfectly to be able to get that done. And I love the way that the pink in the bottom and the yellow here tie in the top of the page and really pop the colors that are in the photo so that the photos stand out against that busy background there. There's still something that needs to go into that bottom right, and I'm really not quite sure what it is. I had that really heavy um, green and blue border, but I know that's not going to work. So as I'm kind of mulling over what my options are, I'm going to finish off adding this photo in here. So I want to get the journal card so that it is askew intentionally um, so that, again, you are able to see that peach color. The way I had that foam flower, um, you were not going to be able to open the photo without it impinging on the hinge. Uh, and so I 
ripped part of the photo in the process of moving that. Um, and so I am just going, uh, I was trying to take care of that situation. So I'm going to use this yellow uh, plaid washi as the hinge behind the photo so that you flip the photo and then see the hidden journaling underneath there. Um, so that is a great way. Washi is a great way of getting um, a little bit more on your page and creating a hinge so that you can open things. Just make sure you don't obstruct the hinge like I did with that foam flower there. Um, so you can see I have put some pink and white twine in that top of that tag there. I like to fold over um, my tags and I like to glue it down with a liquid adhesive just so it stays stuck um, and they don't just kind of end up being this bleh, drab dangly thing off of the top of the tags there. Um, so I'm still, I know I want this sun. I know I want that banner that says sunshine and good times, but I'm just not sure where I want it to go. And so you you can see I did that line down so going above the peaches while it would have been the ideal spot for it it just made everything too heavy in a solid line on the right hand side but by putting it here above this left photo we've now created a diagonal um, where your eye moves from the sun, the yellow sun, through the title of the yellow summer peaches down to the yellow tag um, and creates that diagonal line from top left to bottom right there. So I am satisfied. Um, I have this little pink tag here and it says lovely memories um, and I just needed, I wanted to incorporate just a little bit more pink. I've got a lot of pink at the top in that floral but I needed pink along the line of the peaches and um, where my husband is in his picture and then the two of us that creates a straight sort of visual that moves across the yellow there. So there I've used the branding strip with the multicolor stripe, um, there, that is actually one of the papers. Um, but if I can get away with just using the branding strip, hey, I'm all for it. Um, and then the puffy stickers again. I love the dimension that puffy stickers add, and I always try and incorporate a few of those in. So I have the phrase that says "Hello Sunshine" underneath peaches. I am going to use a little bit of fun um, from the sticker book. I'm going to end up doing that off camera. You can see I've used um, the camera puffy sticker there. I'm actually going to take that off. It's um, it's busy and it's not quite the right busy, but I am going to put in a shot of blue down the bottom there in uh, the form of a seagull as well as a locator um, with the location and the date in that pink tag at the bottom there. Um, so you can see how I put the sunglasses, the red sunglasses. So I've got three different elements up there, a trio um, and three different pieces, which adds a little bit of variety to that. Uh, I'm not going to journal on the back of the photo, but I did embellish it just because you are going to open it to see the uh, hidden journaling. So here's a little peek at some close ups of this. And then um, that is going to wrap it up, my friends. I hope you are inspired to use this collection for some of your summer memories. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.